So ladies and gentlemen, the time has now come for our main event of the evening. And of course it will be for the professional Eternal MMA Flyweight Championship contested over five five minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 56.7 kilos and trains out of Wilkes Academy, holding a professional MMA record of five wins for just one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the challenger, Steve Astro Boy Hersing. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 57.1 kilos and trains out of Combat Training Center, holding a professional MMA record of 12 wins for four defeats. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed flyweight champion, the Turkish delight, Shannon Ross. Okay, gentlemen, welcome. We went through the rules earlier on. You know what I expect. Make sure you listen like a man all the times and defend yourself all the time. For the belt, pick him up, we'd like you back. On the action begins, your referee in charge, Peter Hickmott. Eternal 52, main event of the evening, flyweight championship is on the line. Tanir and Nathan Cage side with Benny Alloway. We have made it to the main event. Our challenger, Stephen Ersig, in the blue. Our champion, Shannon, the Turkish delight, Ross, in the red. Five, five minute rounds. Round one, and here we go. Ersig on the Gold Coast from WA. Shannon obviously from here. If you didn't hear earlier, T, there was a bit of a roar in the crowd when Shannon walked out. Oh, absolutely. You're hard not to hear. <laughs> Ersig's got some decent wrestling in Jiu-Jitsu, but also he has an ISK belt as well, so he does have the stand-up. You know when Shannon throws punches in bunches, mm -hmm. gonna knock your head off. So let's see how this one plays out. But you know both boys can do it all, and mm -hmm. both are at the top level. So very interesting fight. Well, absolutely, and an interesting fact: both guys in their last bout victorious against Paul Logo, who recently came back with a win of his own in Perth. So the flyweight division, well contested here at Eternal. Good. The champ, Shannon Ross and Steven Ersig, both guys looking to close out what has been a fantastic card here at Eternal 52. Only on UFC Fight Pass, Shannon Ross, the champ, starting to tee off. And Shannon making the move from Puma Gym after being there for such a long time over to combat. The CMBT with Stephen Elliott Compton doing classes there as of late. Um, good facility they've got over there, good coaching staff at the moment, and obviously Chelsea making the move from CMBT over to Puma, so <laughs> trading spaces on the Gold Coast, but you know, Shannon definitely a veteran now with his fought, racking his fights up on the local scene. Indeed he is, and he has his hands full in the fall of Stephen Ersek as he lands over the top there. Not liking what Ersic's doing with that that backup step of his with his hands. Well, they are down, aren't they, Benny? And you see there, he gets caught. Caught flush, but didn't phase him. Walked right through it. Clips Shannon again on the nice dig to the body after a nice left hook. And he is targeting the body, as you can see, a bit of redness around the abdomen of the champion. Stephen Ersic, very confident in his stand-up. He does feel that he will have the most success if... He can embrace a grapple with the champ. And as Shannon Ross says, his favorite fighting style is controlled chaos. Oh, Big right drops. hand by Steven there, and he, he drops he Shannon. Straight into the mount. My goodness, Steven Ersing. This is where he favored himself all over the transitions. Yeah, yeah, the looking for that guillotine. The champ has gone down in round one, ladies and gentlemen, but he's not out. Neither is he out of the woods yet. Steven Ersek on top. Look to be a beautiful right hand. He's going to go for the guillotine from Mount. Very nasty position. Just using that head arm or that wrestling 
control there. Cradling the head and the, and the leg there to keep Ross down, but... Now look at these transitions, but he's doing a great job, but Shannon doing a good job as well of defending. I think, it, I think it would have been a right hand where Stephen Ersig managed to connect, which yeah, finds the chair. Out the back. But look at this transition from Stephen. Got one minute and 20 seconds on the clock. is a long time to work. Plenty of time for the challenger. Can he do it right here, right now? Oh, it's sinking. We know Ross is tough. He's the champ for a reason. He looks like he could have that right arm under the chin, Benny. Just on top. It's just on top at the moment. Ross doing well to defend that. Shucking that arm under his armpit. And he can sit there and survive these kind of punches for the next 45, but... Ersig putting him a lot of trouble on the back here. Well, there is the top down. To it's under deep. the neck now, Benny. It is in deep. Could be a short night here for the Ross. Jimmy Ersig. The Jimmy Tavalini taps. Stephen Ersig. So ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes and 28 seconds of round number one. Declaring your winner by submission due to a rear naked choke and new eternal MMA flyweight champion, Steve Astro Boy Ersig. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with our new flyweight champion at getting, thing done, getting things done in round number one by Rear Naked Choke. Give us your thoughts on that performance, Astro Boy. Fucking hell. Um, <laughs> that was not the way I thought it'd go. I mean, I thought I was going to win, but... <laughs> Fucking one round, I dropped him out, I fucking choked him, so I can't have a better performance than that, eh? Yeah, it was uh, certainly very impressive from Cage's side. Of course, like you mentioned, showed a very well-rounded skill set there in the finishing capabilities here tonight. What was the game plan coming in here this evening? Uh, the game plan was to, uh... <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Um, <laughs> the game plan was to basically draw him out into deep water, five rounds, take his leg out, take his body, slowly take over, but... <laughs> Yeah, I just had him straight away. I certainly did, and of course, uh, training out of Wilkes Academy. Talk to me a little bit about your training camp and coming in here tonight. Man, David Wilkes and my dad, um, they're fucking the, the best two people you could have around you. Um, they put so much time into me, they don't expect anything in return. Um, yeah, and all my training partners, all the people in the gym that support me, all the kids that I teach coming around and telling me they want to come see my fights, and yeah, it's, just, yeah, it's really cool. Well, a, a spectacular performance tonight, heading home with some new silverware. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your new flyweight champion, Astro Boy.